In the previous video, we read the basic term S model into IPython and explored it. The next step is to run the model and obtain results. There is no run command in model X. When the formula of a cell's object is called, the formula is evaluated and its result is returned. The result is kept in the cells until the formula needs to be recalculated or until it's explicitly cleared. There are two ways to call the formula associated to a cell's object. The first way is to call it in the IPython console. Let's say we want to calculate and see the value of result PV, which is a cell's object representing the present values of cash flows. Since we have already defined a global variable for result PV, it is a variable in the IPython shell. Result PV doesn't have any parameter, so you just call it with round brackets. The present values of cash flow components for the selected model point and the percentage to the present values of premiums are calculated and returned as a pandas data frame object. You may have noticed that in MX Explorer, the number of data fields is populated for many cells. This indicates that when you call the result PV, other cells are also evaluated recursively. The numbers in the field indicate how many values are calculated and kept for each cell's object. For example, this indicates that 121 values are calculated for claims. Claims has T as its parameter, which represents a projection month, so claims is calculated for 121 months to calculate the present value of claims. You can check the value of claims by calling with specific arguments like this. Cells are dict-like objects, so you can use them like Python dictionaries. For example, you can create a dict from claim by dict function like this. You can use the keys, values, and items methods on the cells object to iterate over its keys values and key value pairs, just like you use them on dictionaries. For example, here's how to print the first 10 key value pairs. The second way to calculate and show the value of the cell's object is to use the MX view widget. Before trying the second way, let's clear all the values we have calculated. The clear all method on the model does the job. You can see that the number of data column is cleared now. Then let's try to calculate and output the value of result PV in MX data view widget. If you click on this icon at the upper right corner of the MX data view widget, you can see a checkbox before the item calculate on update. By default, this is checked, which means the values to be shown in the widget will be calculated when you try to show it if it hasn't been calculated. If you uncheck it, there will be an error when you try to show the value of a cell that has not yet been calculated. To set result PB in MX data view, right click on it in MX Explorer and select Select in data view. You can see that result PB is selected here in MX data view. Since result PV doesn't have any parameter, leave this box blank and click Update. 
Now the data frame is shown in MX Data View. You can also show the values of another cells, for example, result CF in another tab by selecting Select a new data view from the context menu and click Update. If the cells has a parameter, then you have to give an argument in the box. For example, to show the value of claims for time zero, right click on claims, select select a new data view and enter zero in the parameter box, then click update. 